This one's going to be on FTTPS. It's a download manager. Um, this one, I really like it, but uh, it's been abandoned. So if you're like a, uh, a good Python programmer or something like that, uh, maybe you can, uh, you know, revive it, I guess. Anyways, uh, why do I like it? Well, they have this one feature that I like. Okay, so I'll show you here. Now, if you run the program, well, if you download the program, they'll come up with... Um, they have your settings here, right? And then you have your logs, and then you have this, and then you have your queue. So the way that you use this program, so Python, HTTPS, PY. So you run the program. It looks like it's not running, but uh, it actually is. And let me uh, do this here. Right, so when you want to add... Um, some stuff so you can download let me give you an example say we download this mp3 here right we want to copy the link and all you got to do is edit your uh, queue here right so I'm going to edit our queue here and we're going to insert that and then we're just going to write to it as soon as you write to it it's going to start downloading automatically you see up here the program that's why I like it. You just um, add it, and then it will just automatically download it without like uh, giving it a command again. So this thing acts like kind of like a daemon up top here, right? As soon as you write to um, your Q file, it's gonna start downloading. So another example, let's do it again here. This one is an OGG file. So if I do uh, another one, and I write to it. All right, it's gonna start up again. Up here, you can actually do um, if you go up and down, they have the little X on the the side here, right? And you go on there, you can hit uh, P for pause, you know, pause the downloading, and then R for resuming, right? So that's basically the program. You just add uh, the stuff in here in your queue. Now, after it downloads it uh, in your queue, it's gonna get rid of it and it's gonna put it onto your log file, right? So both of them are done. And you can actually just quit out of this. Uh, and now your logs, since we already did those two, we can cat it out the logs here. So those are the two that we downloaded uh, once it's completed. And I really like this. It's just that uh, the program is running and you keep adding it. Um, you don't have to like rerun it again. Like if you use like wget or something, you know, you have to run wget again and again. If you do that in the list, I mean, you still have to restart the program if you add something new later on. So I like this program because of that. Although it, they still have some stuff that um, to be a complete download manager, you know, like a handle passwords and stuff like that. So if anyone is really good at uh, Python, I really, uh, you know, would want you to work on this and uh, fix it up and everything. Right, but as far as for the settings in here, you can actually do um, the settings here, right? So you can go open up your text editor, and it's really not that hard. What is that? All you gotta do is point it to your location of your log file, your queue, and where you want it to download to. That's basically it. And this whole program is just Python. So if you go to Python, uh, you can do that. And if you want to. Was that exit the program up top here? Just hit Q, and I'll just quit, and and that's it for the program. Anyways, uh, really like the program. Um, needs more features, so if you want to fix it up because it's been abandoned, then uh, go for it, right? And let me know too. That'll be for this one.